we are extremely proud to bring uh, Oli to the light today. And to be honest, it's for us much more than a concept. It embeds, of course, the very um, striking, uh, attractive dimension of a concept. You can see it's uh, very um, ambitious and radical style, but it's also bearing the new styling identity, the new Citroen logo. And at the same time, it also shows the path for the development of a brand for the coming years. We're talking about affordable electrification. We're talking about optimism, fun and functional vehicle. But we're also talking about a sustainable approach to vehicle development, embedding sustainable material as much as we can, taking care of the life cycle, ensuring recycling at the end of the life cycle, and obviously upgrading the vehicle throughout the life. So it's a very radical, I would say, statement or marching orders for the brand. It's a very ambitious statement that we wish the Citroën brand to register itself as an active part of a move towards a sustainable future. So you talk about affordable electrification, and that's the key, isn't it? Because EVs are still very expensive, not also expensive to run because of the price of electricity. Are you concerned that in the current cost of living crisis and, of course, the energy, uh, the energy crunch that we're seeing at the moment, that's delaying the switch to electrification? For me, there's a number of things we can be optimistic and or concerned about for the electrification. Obviously, and I think we can all agree with it, the drive towards an electrification individual transport is a very important element of a sustainable future. I'm not even talking about regulation, I'm talking mostly about societal expectations. How we get there is a very important question. One thing is, for the last 10 years, we've seen an increase in electric vehicle performance. I'm talking autonomy, power, speed, and as a consequence, weight and price. This for us is a concern because honestly, if the future of an electric car is 2.5 tons of weight and 70,000 euros or more of price, then it's not for everyone. And somewhere, Citroën thinks that progress should be shared with all. Second, and as you highlight, there is a current concern about energy prices. Rightly so. Now, I also I want to make the point that those concerns might be short or midterm only. Obviously, we will drive to a transition in terms of source of energy, focusing on electrification. We will develop more and more sustainable energy sources, renewable energy, and we can hope that this will maintain the price and the source of energy within affordable limits. So the current short-term crisis has an impact on orders as we see today for electric cars, but this is, I would say, a, maybe an exaggerated reaction. And fundamentally, we can expect that within a certain time frame, energy cost will become more under control. And in any case, I don't think it will change the shift towards electrification. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.